So the Lakers must have finally picked up on LeBron James' passive aggressive takes, man. Look, I keep on telling y'all, man, Legium did it again. Legium did it again. He he got some help. He got himself some help. Now, I'm gonna break down this trade real quick. I gotta look at the little bleacher report thing. You know what I'm saying? So Lakers are finalizing a deal that lands D'Angelo Russell, Malik Beasley, and Jared Vanderbilt in a trade that sends Mike Conley and picks to the Timberwolves and Russell Westbrook um, and a protected 2027 LA first round pick goes to the Jazz. Now, let me tell you why I first love this trade. First off, I love this trade for Russell. Russell, I, I don't care what nobody says, man. I know Russell tries to play the whole, look, I'm just here to do my job, blah, 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 blah. Look, man, I don't give a damn what nobody say. When you know you're somewhere where you're not appreciated, but you're tolerated, when you know that the fan base really don't like you like that, regardless if it's warranted or not, because I definitely think that he's a scapegoat, I wouldn't want to be there either. You know what I'm saying? So his demeanor definitely showed like, look, man, I'm just here to do what I got to do and get the fuck on because y'all don't like me and I don't really care for y'all either. That's my vibe. I, I would love for him to go somewhere where not only can he still compete for a championship, but he also gets a fresh start. I, I don't know what it is about this Brody hate train that's been going on, but Russell is not the is, Russell is not the issue with the Lakers. It, it's just not. He's not. He, he's he has his moments where it's easy to blame him, but it is not his fault. Secondly, when we get to D'Angelo Russell, Mike Beasley, and Vanderbilt, great pickups. You got some shooters around you. You got some help in the you got help in the paint. And I'm going to stick by the fact by saying that the Lakers should have never got rid of that young ass core in the first place. I get it. All of those guys probably would have never Julius Randle, D'Angelo Russell, all of those guys would have never, you know, really developed unless they would have got shipped off because I love LeBron, but he does stunt the growth of a lot of players. I will say that he, he, there's only so much you can do when you're playing with LeBron. So yes, those guys might not have developed as quickly under while being with him. And he, I'm sure he didn't want to deal with a young squad either. But man, like you, there's no way you can look back at that team, Julius Randle, all of those guys, and not look at this roster now and not feel like those guys would have been better if he just would have waited their growth out. You know, just my personal opinion. So I'm glad D'Angelo Russell is back with the Lakers. He should have never left. They should have never traded him. Malik Beasley. Still, still a little bit, you know, it's cool. Jerry Vanderbilt, cool. But I'm I'm happy for this trade. I do think this trade helps them a lot. I still don't think they're a championship contending team. But on paper, they look a lot better. They look a lot deeper. It does look like that team can perform and at least get a couple more wins. And I damn sure can tell you that that roster ain't losing to the Oklahoma City Thunder by three points. I can promise you that, too. So it's interesting. I want to see what you guys think. I want to see what you guys say down below because... I'm 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 happy. I, I Rob Link, I think you earned a couple more days. I think you really did.